Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can derive your accounts. Account derivation can be very practical because uh, if you have a parent account and you derive it, you will obtain children accounts. These children accounts will not have different mnemonic seed. So the mnemonic seed phrase will always be the one of the parent account. And you will just need to remember the derivation path of these children accounts. Let's go and derive accounts that have been created on the UI, the extension, ledger, and parity signer. Before diving into today's tutorial, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below, as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and you are interested in, drop us a message. Here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface and we are currently connected to an RPC node on the Polkadot network. We have four different types of account. The first account is an account that has been created on the browser extension. We can see it here. Then uh, the second account is an account that has been created on the Parity Signer app and it has been injected into the extension. And we can see it here with the QR code logo. Then we have uh, an account that has been created on a ledger device and we can see it here with also the USB logo. And finally we have an account that has been created directly on a user interface and this account is not present on the browser extension. To derive an account that has been created on the Polkadot.js uh, user interface we go here, we click on derive account we need to type the password of this account. Then we click unlock. And here we have to specify the derivation path. And we can decide if we want to do a hard or soft derivation. Let's stick with the hard derivation as it is more secure. But if you want to know more information about hard and soft derivation, please see the link in the description below. In this case, as I said, we will use a hard derivation and we will call it zero. Then we choose a name for this account. We also choose a password and then we click next. Here there is a short summary with the derivation path that uh, we have chosen and we click save. We can see that the JSON backup file has been automatically stored and uh, you can use it to restore this account. By the way, if you don't know how to restore an account using uh, the JSON backup file or the mnemonic seed phrase, See the link in the description below to another video tutorial. We can see on the UI that uh, the UI account zero, that is a derived account of the UI account, has been added. We can see that there is a small logo here of a fork, which means that this is a derived account of the UI account. All right, to derive an account that has been created on the browser extension, we go on the browser extension logo. We click it, we search for the account, in this case controller1, we click the three vertical dots and we have the option derive account, we click it. Again we have to enter the password of this account. Once we enter the password we have a suggestion for the derivation path that is automatically set to the double slash zero which means that this is a hard derivation and the derivation path goes uh, to zero. So we can also choose a different derivation path. We can unlock it here. We can put really what we want. The important thing is that uh, as a meaning to you and you can easily remember it. In this case, we just leave the zero and uh, we click on create a derived account. Then we need to choose a name for this derived account and then we have to choose a password. After choosing the password, we click create derived account. And here we can see the derived account of uh, the controller one. As in the UI, we can, uh, we can see like uh, the fork logo with uh, controller one and uh, the derivation path. So this is a derived account from the account controller one. Notice that to create this account, also the previous one, we didn't have to go through the step of uh, writing down the mnemonic seed phrase. 
The mnemonic seed phrase for this account is the same of, uh, as uh, the one of the controller one, and uh, we just need, after the mnemonic seed phrase, the derivation path. In order to see the derived account that we just added to the browser extension on the UI, we just refresh the page, and now we can see the derived account. To derive an account that has been created on a ledger device, we need to basically attach the ledger device to the computer and insert the pin to unlock it. Then we go to the browser extension, we click on the plus button here, attach a ledger account, we select the network, in this case Polkadot, a descriptive name of your account is required, and after choosing the account name, you have to choose the account type and the address index. So the account type is the main account. In this case, if we leave zero and also the address index zero, this is the account that we already have. So this is the account here with uh, account type zero and address index zero. In order to derive the account, the main account, we need to leave the account type to zero and to change the address index. And in this case, we can choose one. In this way, we are telling the browser extension that um, the main account will be still the zero, so the account type is the zero, but uh, we will create a child of this account, which will uh, have the address index one. After doing this, we can click on import account. We can see on the browser extension the derived account has been added and in order to see it on the UI we go and we refresh the page. Here we can see that uh, the derived account has been uh, added to the UI. It is important to understand that the Ledger Live app is scanning only the, the account type, is not scanning the address index, which means that derived accounts will not be visible on Ledger Live. Here we are on Ledger Live and we can quickly check that the, the account that we have here is the same as uh, the dot double zero that we have here, so the main account. In order to check the address, click on the account, go to edit account, expand the advanced menu, and uh, here we have the address of this account. And we can check that the address corresponds to the one that we have on the UI, so this is fine. But we can notice that uh, the derivation path that the Ledger Live is scanning is, uh, only, is only scanning the number zero account type and the number zero address index. So it's not giving us different, uh, it's not scanning through the address index component. So in Ledger Live, we will only be able to see the main account. This means that uh, if you are transferring funds to the derived account, these funds will not be reflected in the balance in Ledger Live. Finally, to derive an account that has been created on Parity Signer, go to your Parity Signer app under the Keys menu, then uh, tap on My Account. Then you have the option of having derived keys in order to derive an account click on the plus button and here we can choose the type of derivation path. In this case, we will just add the double slash zero, then click on next. We will need to enter the passcode for signer and we can see the derived account has been added. In order to add this account to the browser extension, just click on the derived key. You will be presented with a QR code. Then uh, go to the browser extension logo and click it. Click on plus. Then click on attach external QR signer account. Present the QR code to the camera of your computer. Add a descriptive name for your account. Click on add account. We successfully added the derived account. In order to visualize it on the UI, refresh the page. And here we have the account that has been derived 
from the My Account Signer here. Alright, I hope you learned something today about deriving accounts and uh, I see you in another video.